as Plato says, we're not talking about any old subject. We're talking about how to live. We're talking about these ultimate questions about what should we believe, what matters in life. Why should we, you know, if we had a ring of invisibility, act justly? Why not act unjustly instead? It's also very important to think really deeply and carefully about how things ought to be, about how we should think, how we should act. Philosophy is great because it really questions the, the big essential questions like what is your own value, what is the meaning of life. What makes our department stand out is that we are virtually unique in combining a very powerful research focus. Exactly one thing is F and it is G. Well, at the same time, bringing our top research faculty in courses at all levels, from freshman and sophomore, junior and senior. When you take philosophy classes here, you're really learning from some of the best minds who are working on these topics. I wake up in the morning, I don't know what happened last night. I go, well, it might have, might have been raining last night, you know. For, that's a might past. It might be that in the past, yada yada. Many areas in philosophy are philosophy of. Including philosophy of language, philosophy of mind, philosophy of cognitive science. And philosophy of law. His action is just as wrong, just as morally culpable or blameworthy as the successful Hitman. And all this shows that philosophy plays a foundational role in a very large range of disciplines. We provide lots of different philosophy courses as well for our students with different sorts of approaches. Some of us approach philosophy through the history of philosophy, others focus more on the contemporary debates. You might think whether discrimination is appropriate might depend on what kind of society we live in. And you might think that what's... So one of the crucial things that you learn in philosophy is logic, and that's kind of the language that we speak in. You can take ethics classes and learn about which actions are obligatory. In epistemology, you learn about the nature of knowledge and whether we can have knowledge. And in metaphysics, you learn about what exists, whether everything can be accounted for by what's material. So it's not just that there is a rule, and the rule applies to some people. But when something's wrong, there's a moral rule and it's a rule that applies to anybody. One thing philosophy really teaches you to do is to be able to learn and understand anything, to apply your skills anywhere, to look at any different discipline or subject matter. You will learn so many different techniques, how to read papers critically, how to argue successfully and clearly and concisely, and your writing skills will improve tremendously, and I think it's a good basis for any profession. Before I decided to apply to medical school, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. However, taking a philosophy course in medical ethics here at USC really changed my mind on that subject, and to me that was a huge impetus to turning my sights towards a goal as becoming a physician. So there is almost no limit to what you can do with a philosophical analysis of a certain area of thought. We also have a wonderful building, of course, our lovely mud hall of philosophy with our Hoos library, wonderful sort of hammer-beamed roof and tiles with depictions of the great philosophers of the past. So it's a sudden sort of inspiring stillness and grandeur about it, I think. We have really one of the handful of the best departments in the country in philosophy. Many of our courses and many of our teachers, they will awaken things in you that you didn't know were there. And you will come out with an expanded sense of who you are and what possibilities are open to you.